Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to sum the hours over 24 hours. This video comes as a result of a question from a lady on one of my courses recently where she had a timesheet uh, similar to this. Uh, she had the days of the week and then two blocks of time separated by this kind of lunch break, if you will, and then the totals on the right hand side. Uh, here's the formula for my totals. Uh, the brackets are unnecessary, but I think it clarifies what it's doing uh, a little bit easier. And this is showing the hours worked that day. But when we want to calculate the hours worked that entire week, we have cell F8 here where we could use a sum function. I say could, we will use a sum function to sum or to total the hours worked that week. So if I put that sum function in there and press enter, I get this result, 11 hours, 30 minutes. That is clearly not correct. Now I'll tell you what that is, that is 11 hours and 30 minutes over 24 hours. That's what that is. That is 24 plus 11.30, uh, which I believe is 35.30 if my maths is working. So it should be coming back with 35.30, not 11.30. Now we can change this with a simple piece of formatting. That is the trick here to sum the hours over 24. We simply select the cell or cells in question and go into format cells. I'm doing that by right clicking here and we're going to look into the formatting area. Here we go. We're straight into this custom area where we have HH colon MM. Now we want to look for a specific type and that's the one we want. We want the one where the H is surrounded by these square brackets. Now as I select it, it moves up into this type field and I'm going to remove the seconds from that custom time. So we have the H in square brackets, colon, MM. You can just type that in. You don't necessarily have to find one and edit it. If I click OK, I now have 35 hours and 30 minutes. That is the correct total for the hours worked. And that is it. That is how you sum the hours over 24. You sum the hours as normal, as usual, but then you apply that custom format to present it effectively. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel. And come check us out at computergargar.com.